Well, 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 look who comes crawling back. My name is Michael, if you don't already know me, and if you don't know me, then salutations. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, stick around, we've got a good one. So, we're continuing on with Let's Play Ilo Milo. This is the title uh, uh, recently introduced to Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, to reiterate, it is uh, 800 Microsoft points, as well if you've got a Windows Phone 7, uh, or a phone running uh, Windows Phone 7, the, that OS, that platform, you can also get this game for that, however I haven't played it for that, so I can't, uh, can't really recommend it necessarily, because I don't know how it plays, but anyways, I definitely recommend this for the Xbox Live Arcade if you've got an Xbox 360. Um, get it now so you can play along as I go through this series. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and in this, this video we have begun chapter one. The first video... Uh, sorry just to interrupt that. Uh, that achievement is for collecting one of those little mini Safkas. Um, with each of those, which with with both Ilo and Milo, um, you can see there's three different colors of mini Safkas. There's the kind of limey, greeny, the purple, and the the grayish blue. Uh, and if you collect them all, you unlock a special level for each one. So, anyways, what was I saying before that? I don't even know. Oh yes, well. This is this video is about chapter one, not the whole thing though, because uh, some of these levels take a decent amount of time to do. So there's going to be a few videos in this series just because we want to keep things um, brief, not too brief, but uh, I don't want to keep you guys here for an hour because that's you might blow your brains out. I might blow my brains out if I was making hour-long videos, just because then if you screw up and you got to start all over again, or even not even. I mean, if you just have to start over again, it's just, it sucks, it's discouraging, you know, these, these Let's Plays, so you gotta cut them up. So that's what we're doing. We get through the first few levels of Chapter 1, though. Uh, the first level that uh, we played was Curly Branches. Um, that's why I named this, this video Curly Branches. However, there's a few levels, they, they each have their own special name. Um... Here you can see, I'm trying to get this little platform working, but obviously I don't know exactly what's going on. And you can tell pretty immediately, it it's just that it doesn't work with that type of block that we laid down. You can't, you can't use the elevator, or sorry, the platform that way, as you'll see in a few seconds. Um, as well, I would like to note now that I do uh, attempt to basically collect everything on on the levels in this game, so um, hopefully that doesn't bother you. You know, I'm trying to be complete and thorough with this Let's Play, just like I would with any other Let's Play. So uh, hopefully you're you're you kind of have that OCD, that same OCD as I do, where I like to try and complete things to the fullest. So so I. I try to get all the collectibles and, and show you guys how to do that. So here you can see the problem is you can't use those uh, movable blocks with the platform. So simple enough, we remove that, switch to Milo, and then, mm, yeah baby, kiss me. I actually think both these are, I don't know if they're both male or female or uh, it's not gender specific. I don't know. Either way, they're just good. They're just friends, okay? Not even friends with benefits, just friends. Um, which is cool. Hey, sometimes you just want somebody just to hang out with and shoot the shit, right? Um, you saw on those two star, uh, those two squares that there were stars, and what that basically means is you've collected everything on that level. Alternatively, if you've completed the level, uh, in that you've uh, got Ilo and Milo to meet, but you didn't collect everything, then it'll show up as uh, a heart on the square. So that just says that you've beat it, but you haven't beat it completely. Um, 
So that's kind of, that's how you differentiate. You can go back to those levels where you haven't collected everything. Uh, and there's special collectibles as well on each level. We've got these little sort of, uh, oh, I, did, I haven't been doing my reading, obviously. The term has slipped my mind, but they're kind of like, uh, they're not really flowers, not really gems. So you got the mini safkas. Well, we'll pick it up later, don't worry. Excuse my my ignorance. It's, it was a long day at work. It's, you know, Monday. Monday, Monday. Uh, and the special things you can pick up, one are the, the photographs, and that's part of uh, memories that either when Milo, you're, when you pick up the photographs, you're helping them uh, remember their, their friendship. Uh, as well, when you collect so many of these little gem dealios, it fills up, you can see the meter up to the left, that kind of little, uh, what is it, a, a tube of that, I don't know what we're calling it, but once that fills up, you get a new memory. So that's another incentive to actually collect them, because it kind of, it helps develop the story, whether, if you don't really care for the story, then you don't have to collect all these little things, but here we go. To believe that we were meeting in, uh, in the park of all places, our park, it felt just like the old days, like the colors had never faded and the trees were standing as tall as ever. So that's a, just a little fragment of a memory that we've collected, so we kind of gather more and more as we go, which is nice. And it'll just like, this game has, has a pretty powerful message. It's a simple game, simple message, but it's still powerful. That's the, uh... That's what I'm realizing, you know, friendship. It's about pure friendship and the lengths that two individuals could go to uh, to be together. Just solid friendship. Do you have a friend like that? Let me know in the comments, you know? Tell me about your friends, guys. I wanna know. Maybe I'll be that friend for you. I'll like, I'll fly to Japan every weekend just to hang out with you or I'll bike down to to Texas or Nebraska and we'll chill out drink a few pints I want to be that friend okay oh god some Safkas wear hats not just because hats are awesome but because you've already rescued them the star is shown on the puzzle once see I already told you guys about that see the star and you could see when you hover each level they tell you if you've rescued each of those those colored Safkas if you've if it has a picture on it, it'll tell you if there is and if you've collected it. And same with the little vinyl uh, record, um, which are, you can listen, it's basically, it's music you can listen to in the gallery later, which we'll, we'll get to eventually, but we're going to focus uh, the first large, the most significant portion of this uh, uh, Let's Play just on the beating the game beating all 49 levels and trying to collect everything and then we can look at all the little niceties and as well there is a multiplayer aspect to this game there are little eggs on some levels that you can only uh see and collect while playing multiplayer so given my ocd what i think i'm gonna do is have a contest or or have some kind of event or something where i recruit some of the people watching this this series uh, to help me get these eggs. Like hopefully, hopefully a few of you watching this uh, will also get the game. I mean, hey, it's great if you just want to watch. I think that's awesome. It's it's cool. It's something to do if you enjoy me. If you enjoy just watching people play video games, then rock on. But uh, you might also want to play along. In which case, I'm gonna be begging. I'm gonna be down on my knees, kissing your feet and your toes and. Just saying, help me get these eggs. And, hey, you know, I'll be doing you a favor, because then you can get the eggs. It's a win-win-win situation. A win for everybody. A win for me, a win for you, and a win for everybody else watching. <laughs> or, how far does it go? Can you get a win-win-win-win? I forget, that's from the one episode of The Office. Steve Carell is trying to, um... You know, he's he's stepping on HR's toes. Uh, Toby is the HR guy at, at that time. I forget which season. It's, it's probably season two or three. 
and and Steve, you know, being the office manager, is just like, ah, no, I can fix this situation. He's trying to get a win-win, win-win, where everybody wins. Like the man, the person resolving the issue wins. The two people having the conflict each win, and I think there's another one in there. Anyways, uh, I haven't seen past season four of The Office, uh, American version. I'm talking about in case you need to know. Um, I don't know, I heard it kind of went downhill, but, uh, and Steve Carell's leaving the show, is he not? I don't, I don't even know. So, let's get back to this game. Um, I'm really digging these, I really love the, the carpets that let you switch to the other sides, like that, one, it makes navigating easier, like, you, there's no fuss, no muss, you know exactly which side you're going to. And, um, I mean, it, it adds difficulty to it without confusion, if you kind of know what, know what I mean, like, um, there's, yeah, there's no, there's no real frustration, like, uh, you physically don't know, like, how to move, like, I know I need to put a block down to get over to that little purple Safka, the extendo block, but I gotta find one, so... Hmm, where are we gonna go? Oh, I just picked that one up that we used. And, uh, I'm just using, uh, Milo. I like to make sure that, uh, you look around, use the camera, make sure you look around to see that you've got everything. Because it's not, you can come back and collect stuff later if you just want to beat the level. That's fine, you can come back later to get all the collectibles. But I kind of like to do it in one shot if I can. Um, so in which case, take a good look around with the camera before you finally uh, get uh, Ilo and Milo to meet. Because oftentimes that's actually the, the easier thing is getting them to meet. It's collecting everything that uh, can be a challenge. So have a quick look-see before you... Get them to meet, and there we go. Do do do. Uh, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So it was kind of a that went by quick for me, anyways. But uh, we're gonna continue on with chapter one in the next video, uh, which, of course, things still getting harder and harder. Trust me, and uh, it's gonna be a riot. So come back in a day. Love you guys.